Yeah, so now it comes time to discuss Electrum servers. Uh, the agenda is as follows. What is an Electrum server? Why do we need one? Uh, choosing an Electrum server, I'll give you three options. Uh, the pros and cons of those options and a, a typical setup diagram uh, that we'll go through as well at the end. So what is an Electrum server? Uh, an Electrum server is an additional database that sits upon Bitcoin Core and serves information about the status of the blockchain. Now you're probably wondering why do we need another database? Uh, the Bitcoin Core database is already 700 gigs. Uh, what's this additional database for? So why do we need an Electrum server? Essentially, the Bitcoin Core database, which is currently 700 gigabytes, is largely inefficient, slow, and difficult to query against. Um, and so an Electrum server is an efficient database that can be queried quickly and by address. So for example, if you wanted to query a specific address against Bitcoin Core, uh, that's just not possible. Um, and if you want to import your XPub into um, a Bitcoin Core, that's going to uh, one, have a, a privacy disadvantage where there is now a little wallet file uh, that is sitting on your computer um, that contains private information. Um, and it's just a bit slower, it's a bit clunkier. So this is why we need an Electrum server. There are three options. Um, now, the first most common one is the Electrum Rust server. The second one is Electrum X. And the third one is Fulcrum. And it's a trade-off between disk space and wallet query in, uh, requirements. So the Electrum Rust server um, has a very, very small footprint, which is a pro. Uh, but at the same time, if you were to query a very... Uh, Sorry, if you were to query a wallet that is very deep into uh, its keychain, meaning you're using you know hundreds or thousands of addresses in that wallet, uh, it may struggle to give you an output in a um, in a decent amount of time. So you may um, wish to move down uh, to option two, which is uh, Electrum X, which again uses more. Um, in terms of disk space, but it is a little bit more efficient to query um, for, for those large uh, wallets um, in terms of uh, going down that keychain. So if you've got thousands of addresses, Electrum X is a better fit and it's more reliable as well. Um, now, Fulcrum is, uh, if you really need good performance out of your uh, indexing, um, however, it is a little bit uh, unstable at times, and it does ha um, tend to crash every now and then, uh, and it will also sometimes um, get corrupted, which will then need to be re-indexed, and that may take uh, a few hours to do. So uh, the Fulcrum, whilst whilst it's working perfectly, is the most efficient. It also takes up the most disk, disk space, and uh, it also sometimes can crash. So those are the pros and cons of each. For most people, I believe the Electrum Rust server uh, has that happy medium of providing you with um, your wallet balances as well as uh, querying, you know, these most people's wallets, but is also very, very reliable and has a strong, stable uptime. So that's why uh, in the Ministry of Nodes node box. When you purchase one, I've put in the Electrum Rust server by default, um, and I don't really support Electrum X or Fulcrum. Now, if you do want to install any of these, I've got tutorials on the Ministry of Nodes YouTube page uh, where you can find every single one of these three. Um, however, for this series, I'm going to be choosing the Electrum Rust server to install. Now, just going back to our diagram here, so you'll see here um, our normal PC uh, that we are probably that we are going to be sitting at, or even our laptop. Um, you'll have a Sparrow Wallet installed, uh, and you'll also have some form of hardware wallet, hopefully. Um, and so that hardware wallet holds the private key, so it sits there. Now the public key will sit on your computer, um, and it holds that wallet skeleton file, so to speak, um, and it'll be installed within Sparrow. And then Sparrow will then reach out to your node box uh, and connect up with your Electrum server and query against it to show you the status of your, uh, your wallet uh, in, and broadcast your transactions. And Electrum Rust server will then query Bitcoin Core to keep that information up to date. So that's kind of the, the sequence of traffic in the environment here. You'll notice that this node box, again, does not 
contain any sort of private information. Uh, it just holds a database to which your computer, which holds the private information, uh, will uh, query. And there are no logs that are present within this uh, in this node box either. So. Um, as you can see here, uh, the Sparrow wallet queries the Electrum server. Electrum server is fed up-to-date information from Bitcoin Core. So that's kind of the sequence of, 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 of the flow. Um, and so that hopefully gives you a nice picture as to uh, how this typical setup would work. Thanks for watching. And if you'd like to support the work that I'm doing, head on over to ministryofnodes.com.au and click on the support button. If you'd like to have one-on-one -on -one consulting, click on the consulting button and book a session on the calendar widget. And if you'd like to purchase a Bitcoin node, head on over to the shop and purchase one from shop.ministryofnodes.com. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next one.